Hello everybody. In this video I want to share with you some new findings that we have gained about our immune system. This system consists of many different cells and much much more regulating substances called interleukins. Macrophages are in the center of this system. In case of vaccination, the processed vaccine is transported by dendritic cells into the lymph nodes to condition various other cell lines, like T cells or B cells, to fend off viral attacks. Checkpoint inhibitors, the immune therapy used in cancer, intend to block various pathways to force the immune system into a special direction. Let's have a look to ImmunoD, a recently developed product based on a different view to our immune system. Vitamin D, produced by sunlight in our skin from cholesterol and taken up with our diet, is an important mediator for many functions in our body, such as bone health, muscle development, regulation of our blood pressure, insulin production, regulation of cell growth, but especially the regulation of the immune function. For the transport in the bloodstream, the lipophilic vitamin D, cholecalciferol, has to be bound to vitamin D binding protein, DBP, before released to the different cells, and in the following process to active calcitriol. But up to now, there is a missing link between blood transportation and delivery to the different effector cells, especially to immune cells. So, what are the facts? Vitamin D is DBP bound in the bloodstream. The vitamin D receptor to convey the related effects in the DNA is inside the cells. Vitamin D3 has to be converted to activate the receptor. Therefore, the question is, how does vitamin D get into the right cell? Let me explain three different methods how bigger complexes are engulfed into a cell. First, by so-called phagocytosis. This means, for example, that bacteria are eaten up and destroyed by macrophages. The second method is by more or less passive pinocytosis. The substances are engulfed without a signal from outside into the cell. The important mechanism in our case is the so-called receptor-mediated endocytosis. The substance meets the receptor on the surface of the cell and the cell is engulfing the whole complex into the inside of the cell. And here comes the urologist again. This is a process known for kidney cells, the placenta and the brain, whereas the receptor on the outside is called megaline and cubuline. Via megaline contact on special kidney cells, the whole complex of vitamin D and DBP is transported into the inside via endocytosis. Here the vitamin D is either split off the protein and converted to calcitriol, or is only transported unaltered through the cell into the bloodstream. Megaline-mediated endocytosis is also responsible for the incorporation into parathyroid cells. But the process for immune cells is not completely explained. We know vitamin D is responsible for plenty of activating reactions in various cells of the immune system. Now, how does vitamin D get into immune cells? Recently, it could be shown that vitamin D is transported into macrophages via a non-megaline-mediated process. In the picture under B, you can see the flashing D-binding protein in the macrophages. This process is also known for T-cells, a further important cell lineage in our system. So now, if this is not a megaline-mediated process, as in other cells, what is the signal that mediates the endocytosis in immune cells? 
Very recently, we could show that the vitamin D deglucosylated DBP complex, so-called ZDeProvit, is bound to the surface of macrophages shortly after incubation. Furthermore, a significant higher activation of macrophages by ZDeProvit could be shown compared to unaltered DBP or just the deglucolized DBP without vitamin D. There is a significant relation between binding to macrophages and their activation through the dimer molecule. This could be published very recently. The same process can be seen in T-cells, with first a connection of Cedaprovit to the T-cell surface and consecutively an activation of these cells, expressing specialized activation marker on the T-cell surface afterwards. We can state now, vitamin D is internalized into special cells via a megaline-mediated endocytosis. This is not the case in macrophages. The activation of macrophages varies according to the sugar rests on the surface of the DBP and the binding status of vitamin D. This dimer complex is bound to the surface of macrophages and T-cells. Therefore, we conclude that vitamin D is directed via, via a specialized process into immune cells using the sugar rest on the surface of the DBP as a mediator for endocytosis. This led to the concept of creating a similar dimer complex of selectively deglocalized DBP bound to vitamin D as a substance to directly address and activate the immune cells. This also explains the known importance of vitamin D for the immune system, but substitution of only vitamin D without the performed DBP has not this immediate and resounding effect. Cedeprovit demonstrated a significant higher activation of immune cells of about 120% over the known maximum stimulation. Several studies have been published demonstrating a good effectiveness without detecting any side effects. This has also been declared to the European Commission. These findings, although very new, could be confirmed by other authors. In conclusion, ImmunoD, Cedeprovit, significantly supports the body's natural defense, which might be of important help in our current situation.